This is the best way I've found to make an Instagram logo on Photoshop in 2023. Once you've opened Photoshop, open a new file. Then we have to pick our document size. When your logo is usually displayed, it is around 100 by 100 pixels, but Instagram stores the logos at 320 by 320 pixels. So I've done 1000 by 1000 in the past, but you don't want to scale it down too much to the point where you're losing details. So let's go with the Instagram storage size, 320 by 320. We will keep the resolution at 300, and then color mode, let's keep that as RGB, and 8-bit is good for now because it is a small, tiny little logo. Then just click create. Then it opens up the square box. To zoom in on this, let's do control plus so that our screen is filled by the box. But the Instagram logo is a circle, not a square. So let's come over to our left-hand toolbar over here and select the ellipse tool. If you don't see this ellipse tool right off the bat, then hold down on this and you can see the different shapes to choose. Then come up to the top left-hand corner of your screen Square, click, hold, and drag out until you see these pink lines show up. Now, to get this perfect circle, you need to hold shift down while you're dragging. And then once you see these pink lines, then release, and you have your circle. Now, what I like to do just to make sure there are no white edges on the outside when you export it, is size up the circle a tiny bit. So we will press Ctrl T to transform the circle, then hold Alt or Command, and drag the circle out a tiny bit. This ensures that the color of the circle won't be cut off once we upload it to Instagram. So now we have the framework for the logo. Now whatever you put inside of this circle will be shown on your profile picture. So I'm gonna start by changing the color of this ellipse by double clicking, coming into color overlay, and then I'm gonna go with a dark blue. Click OK. Click OK again. Now, if you have a icon logo or whatever your logo is, you can put it within the circle. So I'm going to drag my icon logo onto the screen here. Now, as you can see, the logo is quite small, um, so I will have to scale it up, which you actually do not want to do. So if your logo looks small like this, it's better that you have a vector version, which you can scale up without losing quality. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to scale this up right now. So now we have the icon logo within the circle. If you want to give your logo a little bit of depth, come over to your logo, double click it. Go to drop shadow and let's select a color that we can see. So I will do this light blue and then I will make the distance longer and increase the spread. Decrease the size to one. Then I will change the angle so it gives it some depth. And now it looks like the V has a little bit of depth here. But as you can see, these edges are disconnected. So an easy way to fix this is coming down, making a new layer, going over to your pen tool, then zooming in on these disconnected areas and simply connecting them. Once you have filled in these areas, right click, select fill path, and then you will have this box pop up. Click on color, click on color again, then use your eyedropper tool to change the color to your background color and select OK. Now hit the backspace or delete and drag this layer below your top icon. Now we'll zoom out and as you can see, it looks like it has some depth to it now. Now all we have to do to save this is go to File, Export, Save for Web, and then below Preset, go to JPEG. Then under JPEG, select Maximum. Then select Save and save it into the file location of your choice. Then once you're on Instagram, click on your icon, select Profile, then click on your icon again, and select Upload Photo. Select your photo from your files, refresh the page, and boom, you have your new profile picture. And I actually like this more than my last one, so I'm gonna keep it. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what you wanna see in other videos. Thanks for watching.